Welcome back to Pop Bottle Rocket Battles Big Ten Tournament Edition. Alright, this is the day we've all been waiting for. The first two matches of the third round of the tournament. Today, we've got the Michigan State Spartans versus the Purdue Boilermakers and the upstart Indiana Hoosiers versus the Maryland Terrapins. Now, just a quick reminder of how the rules work. Each team gets two launches. The number of feet that a team travels in a given launch is worth the number of points that that team gets in a given half. The team with the most number of points after two halves wins the game and moves on to the next round. All right, let's get to the action. We've got Purdue in the hopper. They are first up today in three, two, one. You said Solid result. You let's said see what it comes in at. It looks like Purdue comes in at about 84 feet. Great first half from Purdue. Now it's MSU's turn. Purdue put in a fantastic 80 plus foot launch in the first half. In three, two. Oh my. Oh my. The Spartans come in at 169 feet. How many? 169. Oh my word. And, oh. and one of the fins broke. Oh, they have an injury. Here's Purdue back for their second half in three, two, one. Purdue launches sideways. Purdue comes in at 68 feet. That means that MSU has an insurmountable lead but we have to launch them as per tournament rules in three, two, one. Another fantastic launch from the Spartans, landing hard on the road. 147 feet. However, that hard landing on the road means they have sustained some more damage. That could spell trouble for them moving ahead. Oh, they can, they can, oh, they can repair before the semifinal round. You yeah. are right. Thank you. You know the tournament rules. Okay, let's move on to the next quarterfinal matchup. We are on to our next quarterfinal match. First up in the launcher is Upstart Indiana, who has already survived two rounds. Let's see what kind of score they can put up in three, two, one. Monster, oh no, oh, landed hard on the road. Looks like Indiana's at 115 feet, but they do also have an injury of the nose cone. These conditions out here on the course today are wild. Injuries happening left, right, and center. Oh, they've also lost part of the fin. All right, let's see what Maryland can put up. Here's Maryland in three, two, one. Maryland gets a total of 143 feet, but, but the they, nose cone stands. They are furious with tournament organizers. Daring to run a tournament in conditions like this. They're lodging an official protest with the Big Ten. I don't know what the result of their protest will be. We are in the midst of a heavyweight battle. Second half between Indiana. Indiana's up first. They are trailing in three, two, one. They got a lot of height and a lot of distance. Oh, it flew! More damage? That's not good news. Indiana has 147 feet, but their nose cone fell off in the crash. Here's the second half for Maryland in three, two, one. A lot of height. They look a little short and they've taken more damage. Let's see if it was enough. 106, it's 106. That means Indiana beats. Look at the damage Maryland has taken on. Oh, and they they are still going on about launch conditions today. They are furious. I do not think that their protests will be successful. And as it stands for now, unless there is a review from the Big Ten, Indiana, a shock oh. upstart, will be moving through to the semifinals. Ladies and gentlemen, theys and theirs, we have our first semi-final now set. It will be the Michigan State Spartans against the Indiana Hoosiers in the next round. Maryland's appeals were rejected as we suspected they would be by the uh, Big Ten. And uh, 
that's it. That was an exciting round, a lot of damage. Both of these teams will have to nurse their injuries, uh, get some good medical treatment before they face off in the Big Ten semifinal.